the relationship between Pokemon and their trainers. Wow, they're gonna start this off with a lot of text. I was hoping we would be getting like a greeting, an introduction, but yeah. The Pokemon trainer characteristics. Trainers have preferences of type, color, and shape that influence how they choose their Pokemon. Each trainer wears clothes that match their region's climates. True. Very true. Let's see. I hope the fun of collecting not just Pokemon, but also different kinds of trainers will bring new depths to the world of Pokemon. Are we collecting people? I don't know. We'll see. Let's see what's going to happen. Okay, can I just say Pokemon is getting great with their animation. This looks beautiful. Oh, wow. That cell phone looks pretty cool. Reminds me of a Blackberry, though. Oh, wow. Champions. All the regions. Let's go. Ooh. Wow. I accept your challenge. Oh no! Wow! Oh yeah, Ghost Army! Lock that Dragonite! This is pretty cool! I am liking... Oh wow! That's a beautiful region! Oh wow! Pokemon Master! That doesn't look like Ash. That's weird. It looks like some random person. Rando strangers. Strangers with Pikachu. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh. Ooh, is that a Rotom cell phone? Nope. Looks like a Porygon cell phone. Ooh. Dun, 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 dun. This is pretty epic. Who's that one? Who's that one? I don't think they're trainers. Or gym leaders. Oh, wow. I feel like I'm watching an anime. I like this a lot. The anime graphics are pretty nice. Oh, that's so nice of you, Brock. I realize they're all like grass types. Ooh. Thank you so much, Erica. Oh, man. Oh, maybe. Oh. <laughs> oh, there's a cute little pip -lop. I love it. Now things look serious. Trainers from all over the world are gathering in Passio. What's Passio? But I love little pip -lop. I'll show everyone that oh, I'm wow. the best. They're definitely. A chosen pick of teams. I have to prove that my team is the strongest. Oh wow, they are definitely bringing everyone from all the regions. Even people I've never even met. She's super scary. Oh man. So cute. <gasps> Pokemon. Okay. Hello. There we go. There's the from the Pokemon company. There are people now. There we go. The animated trailer. So cool. I love the animated trailer. The world of Pokemon Masters. Oh, love it. Love the anime. It was so good. Created this world in the form of a smartphone game. I like that. Comments from Mr. Sugimori of Game Freak. It's gonna be pretty cool, pretty easy. At the beginning of this Hopefully. I might be misinterpreting pieces on a cell phone. 
was also created by Mr. Sugimori. Oh, wow. Pokemon Masters started with an idea from Mr. Sugimori, who is one of the original creators of many captivating Pokemon trainers. The idea I didn't was to create a gameplay experience where you could befriend not only Pokemon, but also trainers to battle alongside you. In Growing up. We added new not just Pokemon. The world of Pokemon. DNA and the Pokemon Company have been working together to develop this new type of Pokemon games. Now, I love how Dini is misspelled. It's pretty cool. Masters from Mr. Sasaki, yeah. the producer on the game from DNA. Take it away, Mr. Sasaki. Ooh. Hello. I'm Ooh. Sasaki from DNA. I like that hoodie. I love this sleeping I'm the Pikachu. Of Pokemon Masters. The sup, sup. The island of Pasio is the setting for this game. Somewhere Ooh. in the world of Pokemon. Artificial world. So that... Is it like a made-up world, then? This is really giving me Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Vibes. Fake islands. All come together. Fight for the heart of the cards. On this island, trainers have a single Pokemon that travels around with them as their partner. Hopefully we get to choose our Pokemon. Throughout the story, or the main character will meet rhyme souls. who appeared in past Pokemon video games and form a team with other sync pairs. That's cool. For the Pokemon Masters League, they oh, there's a bit left. Should have been routes, but whatever. Oh. Oh. Ooh. The unique thing about Pokemon battles in this game is that they are three on three team battles in real time. Players real time? What does that mean? Possible by using the move gauge, which fills as time passes. That's weird. There are also special moves called sync moves, which make battles a whole lot more exciting. Oh, it makes me think of Z moves with their names and how like long the names are. Another special feature of this game is that Pokemon are not the only ones using moves. Trainers use them too. Trainers oh. provide support in battle by using moves that heal Pokemon or raise their stats. I felt like we already do that anyway. And that's why Brock gave the healing potion. That makes sense. That makes sense. That's a lot of people. That's a lot of people to either buff- Ooh. Wow. That is intense. That looks like Z moves. That lets anyone casually pick up their phone and enjoy Pokemon battles. The release is planned for summer of 2019. But which part of summer? We're already in summer. It's almost July. World can have fun with. We'll keep you up to date with the latest info on the official website and social media accounts. I hope you're looking forward to the release. Now I know what to follow. Presentation. Thanks for watching. Oh man. Oh, that's it. It's pretty short. Well, let's talk a little bit about what I'm thinking of this game. So far. I think this game is going to be pretty nice. I think it's a great way to tie in the anime of the Pokemon franchise with gaming and making it a mobile I well, iPhone or Android kind of device versus just putting it on the Nintendo Switch definitely captivates all the... I mean, the game style seems very typical like a three on three kind of battle. We have seen that in Fire Emerald. We have seen that implemented in other parts of Pokemon, like the rotation battles or the three on threes with other players. But I think it's revolutionary that they are making this whole reviving anime experience. We have seen the um, Pokemon Origins episodes. We have seen like other anime creations that Pokemon has created and released on their YouTube channel, but this is our first time we actually get to play a game experience. And having this experience, I think it's going to not just be for a hot second, it's going to be continuous because we still have Pokemon Sword and Shield to be released and all of those characters should be coming into this game probably after the game gets released, maybe a couple months so. I could definitely see Pokemon Masters and Pokemon Sword and Shield having their little one-on-one -on -one with characters being transferred over. Additionally, that means we will be getting potentially Galar Pokemon over to Pokemon Masters, which means Pokemon Masters 
is the one that has the uh, national decks. And this makes Pokemon really more diverse now. I also want to address that this game is going to be the most horror related Pokemon game ever for the mobile franchise for Pokemon. Because so far the mobile games include Pokemon Shuffle, the puzzle game, the Magic Kart Jump game, and then Pokemon Duel. And then we got Pokemon Quest 2 and now we got Pokemon Rumble. They're really releasing a lot of Pokemon mobile games, but this one is one that is very true to the franchise. You pick a Pokemon, you battle it, you actually battle. There's no alter mechanics like you are in dungeons or you're solving a puzzle or you have to like spin a dial. You're actually picking moves and you're battling. The only thing I could see that this game could maybe charge you nickel and dime you is if there's you have to pay for time. They're very key on you attack based on real time, which means you can't turn off your Wi-Fi and then play the game offline. You really have to be online to play. As they even mentioned in the video, this is the first time really embracing battling. And they were really bringing back all the forgotten trainers. Honestly, I forgot half of those trainers that were there. They obviously had to mention Erica because she was way back in the OG of Kanto. Like, you can't forget Erica. But this game, it's going to be a good one. It's definitely going to be one that we're not going to forget. Definitely going to be... I see like a good shuffle between going to Pokemon Go and Pokemon Masters and then going to potentially Pokemon Sword and Shield and then shuffling through those maybe every day. And Pokemon is really trying to make sure you're going to be playing their games every day. Like you have rewards in Pokemon Go. I can see there being a reward system in Pokemon Master and now there's going to be a reward system really in Sword and Shield because you have to go on with your friends to battle every day for Pokemon raids. Guys, let me know in the comments below if you like Pokemon Masters, what are your thoughts about Pokemon Masters. They have not given us a lot of information except what I might have to look later on the website to see what information is there or their, you know, Instagram, Twitter, that kind of stuff. But let me know in the comments if you guys are thinking about me getting this game, downloading it, checking it out, and maybe if I should do a YouTube series on this. I'm definitely going to be playing it because I think it's cool. I'm don't knock it till you try it kind of mentality, but I'm hopeful for it. I'm really hopeful and I'm really hopeful they will be later bringing in those Galar characters we've been seeing in the past into the series. It'll be pretty cool. And with that said, hopefully you guys like this live reaction and a little bit of my thoughts. If you like this episode, give it a like. If you like Pokemon content, please subscribe. And until then, I'll see you guys soon.